All right, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to get the unofficial Service Pack 3 for Windows 98 to work smoothly in Windows 98 Second Edition. But for first order of business, I'm going to give a big shout out to the creator of this unofficial Service Pack, who go by the name Problem Child, for making this unofficial Service Pack with adding the official updates and some extra goodies for Windows 98. So what I did before I um, before I st installed the service pack, this is a clean install of Windows 98, of course, in the test VM. What I did, I uh, installed Internet Explorer 6 first. This is Internet Explorer 6 service pack 1, the highest version that Windows 98 SE can support. And there's a reason why I installed it. There's a reason why you're going to need to install Internet Explorer 6. And I also installed DirectX 9 because even though it comes from, you can install it separately through the unofficial service pack, I already installed it just so I don't have to go through that hassle. If you're doing this with a, um, a Windows 98 PC that's got an old version of an, of an antivirus program that's running, you want to go ahead and disable that. And another thing is, if you're if this is a clean install of Windows 98, or if you're about to do a install, or if you're about to install Plus for Windows 98 on a Windows on Windows 98, don't install it yet. If you're going to install this unofficial service pack, because I'm gonna get to the reason. So I'm gonna launch the installer. Even though this is encouraging you to use it at your own risk. So if you're going to do this on an actual machine, make sure it's important to back up all your files or anything that's important that you don't want to lose on any old Windows 98 machine that you're going to try and do this on. And you just give it a little moment or two to load. It's going to extract everything real quick. And it's going to give you this welcome guide. Showing you what cosmetics does it offers. You even get a custom start menu banner and some and the Windows 2000 Windows Me icons. As well as the uh, backgrounds from Windows 2000 and Windows Me and the the Windows 98 Plus wallpaper. And we're going to close out of that for now. And get on right into the install. Let's say we're going to install this. But if you're going to install Plus for 98, Plus 98 after, do not install the animated boot up and shut down logos. And if you're using 98 Lite, I would. If you already got, if you're not using 98 Lite, I wouldn't install that. Even though they say, even though the creator of the unofficial service pack want the main updates installed first. We ain't gonna install everything. Already got DirectX 9 installed. Since we already got IE6 installed, I did a typical install, so it's no need for installing Outlook Express version 6, which comes with Internet Explorer 6. 
if you don't have a copy of Office, you can you can basically install Microsoft Word 97. But it's no need if you got the full copy of Office 97 or Office 2000 or Office XP, which those versions support Windows 98 with no problems. But in this video, I'm going to just install it. Why not? Because I don't really care. It's a test virtual machine. We'll do the performance tweaks, the remote. Already got Tweak UI installed, so there's no need for that. And there's another thing, if you're going to install, we'll do the universal plug and play. If you're going to do the Windows 2000, Windows Me color scheme, it's always important to save the default gradient title bar for the Windows 98 color scheme. I saved it already as Windows 98. If I decide to revert, if you want to revert back to the default Windows 98 color scheme, but some people would have trouble installing the Windows 2000, Windows Millennium Edition color scheme, which gives you the Windows Millennium, the Windows 2000 icons and color scheme. Let, I'm gonna show you a little something anyway that with the icon shell that we're gonna pay real close attention to this recycle bin icon. To what this something what this unofficial service pack does, or share some type of glitch. And once I reboot, I'm I'll be right back, and I'm gonna show you the what what it does to the recycle bin icon, and I'm gonna show you a little fix after how to fix that little problem. All right, since we booted back in, you may notice right here this recycle bin icon look like it's in 256 colors. But when it's empty, it doesn't. You may notice they look like they were working on the icon, use, reusing some of the old icon shell. But I'm going to show you a little simple fix to, even though it ain't going to do no good to use Tweak UI. So what I'm going to do is, Open up the Windows 98 installer. Now what I'm going to do is run the Windows 98 installation. And what I'm going to do here on the Windows 98 installation it's, it's like we're installing, doing a clean install, but this is going to uh, refix some of the issues that with the icon shell with Windows Explorer. It's not going to erase the entire operating system. And we're just going to click no. So I'm going to just run the installation and the most important thing though is when you run this in, run this installer it's gonna uh make it windows 98 kind of fix some of the issues in windows 98 to make it work like oem again but at least you'll still have all your personal settings it's not gonna erase everything like I mentioned several times, so we'll hit click next and just leave select with your country. Like, and while this is going, I'm gonna go ahead and be right. I'll be right back after this installation is done. All right, so it's gonna freeze right here, so. When it freezes in the middle of the Windows 98 installation, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and do a restart. And when you restart, it's just going to resume at the installation prompt. So there's no need to panic when you pop up with the with that look. Do you might do if it asks you if you want to trust that window? So we just ignore that. But this ain't going to deter it. You just ignore that from popping up as if you ever have this type of error, this error pop up. So we're back at the login prompt. And just click yes. So everything should work just fine. And you can see it restored the recycle bin back to its original original shell. So no need to worry. So when it looks like when it's full, it don't look like it's in 256 colors. And you can see it still kept everything surprisingly. So if you want to go ahead and install plus for Windows 98, feel free to do so. We're just not going to install no anti the McAfee antivirus because it's not. And this is just for demonstrations anyway. But even though I'm not a personal fan of unofficial service packs because sometimes some of them can break the OS. And we can just ignore that. And I hope this video helped you guys out and. Thanks for watching.